So last weekend it all started with hackers. Then all of a sudden uh, the alliances responded to those hackers by saying we're going on a gem strike. Now that gem strike is going through with whatever the fuck they are doing, but not everybody will cooperate with that as I stated in last video. And now I see people uh, getting banned for two things. The first one being opening chests, which is the main reason, because there, there are ten thousands of chests opened every damn day. And the second reason is buying starter packs, which is even worse, because you actually buy something from Gree and therefore they ban you. Now, this of course is all done as usual by Gree and their little happy accents that they always have. Like, maybe they put something in the coding, because they are banning a lot of people that actually are hacking as of lately. And I have clearly seen that, because the, some, some girls are actually devouring. <laughs> that, that's what I saw, at least. And so, what is my um, thing here that I want to be discussing? Well, it's of course, it's just the banning. Now, like I said, chess and starter packs. Stay off of them. It's, it's, that's, that's not my advice, it's true. Just stay off of them. I have heard that this is iOS only, but don't take the risk even if you are Android, because I have seen people actually getting banned on Android as well. And that, it, can, it can be literally any chest. It doesn't have necessarily have to be a certain chest, it can be any chest. So even enchanted chest, even when you open like your random enchanted chest you get every day, you know that enchanted key you get from the daily login. and. It's just outrageous, honestly. I, I wanted to make this video before and what actually happened was, yes, stuff happened and then I had to record it all over again. Now, like I stated, it's outrageous. I don't even know how it uh, could have happened and this, this actually has happened before, the Gree fucking up and then banning people because of nothing. And this is actually done by the game itself, not by Gree. They are actually like, or the game act itself is actually like banning these people instead of re. And how does it work? It's pretty much something in the coding that works that way and that just says like, hey, you open a chest, piss off. <laughs> but uh, I've seen, I think, three, four people actually getting banned and also a comment that I got a couple hours ago that actually stated like, I was on my account I was just enhancing my armors and after that I opened chest. Now you can already see where you went wrong. Now I don't know if he's iOS or Android, but um, he got banned after that. And of course, like I said, where he went wrong was the chest opening part. And of course, ma ma mainly you guys don't know this shit. Like, you, you, you guys really don't know any of this. Um, at least not when you, when you don't read your line too often. And... Like, that, that's what I'm here for, you know, I, I want to help you guys and get the best out of this shit, and, but my, like, my thing to agree is, I don't have anything with them, by the way, I don't have any contact, I just make videos on this game just because I slowly like to do it, you know, and Timmy actually does have contact with the uh, developers with this game, because uh, he actually stated that to me, and the other Knights of Dragon YouTubers. But I honestly want to be in contact with them as well, you know, because I also make a lot of content for them. And, like, I want to, like, give them feedback, but, of course, if they aren't listening to ten thousands of people, then why would they listen to just one guy ranting to himself, <laughs> making videos? Like, why would you do that? But, like, I don't think Timmy's um, part on this, uh, unlike what Gree is good as well, you know, I just think that they are, like, monthly talking or so. I, I don't I honestly don't know, but I know that he is talking with Gree every once in a while, that, that's what all I know. But, like I said, banning, uh, the banning is done by the game. How, how it does it, I don't know. Maybe it was put in in a coding by accident, you know, when they were banning people, all of a the sudden they had the, the chest, uh, like, the chest coding opened, and then, like, why not paste it in here for fun, you know, and then all of a sudden, boom, people are getting banned. Now, myself, I don't buy chests all too often, but, like, like I said before, it's it could also be your general enchanted chest. Now, I don't want to be opening any of these, but I, I don't even know if it's iOS only. Um, but I don't even want to be opening these, because I don't want to risk the, my account, you know? This account has been with me for four fucking years, and you're telling me that all of a sudden it can just get banned for opening chess? <laughs> like, seriously, I'm, I'm a daily player of this game, and the, opening chess is something I do on a weekly base. And, like, this has been going on for a couple days now. 
and you you guys uh, have uh, I, I already had the recap at, at the at the start of this video on what actually happened when, uh, when the hacker started and then the, like the alliances uh, responded to that and blah 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 and this it's just all adding up and honestly I'm still I'm, of course I'm still playing the damn game and but it's just like I said it's it's all adding up and well what I, what am I supposed to do about this you know all I can do is make videos about this I agree isn't doing anything to it either like all I can give you guys is the news that you shouldn't open chess and buy starter packs anymore. Now I know that chess are the devil by myself because I know that I know I won't I will get shit from it. But even like even with me, sometimes I do open chess when it comes to enchanted chess. With, like you know, you can open eleven chests at a time, and when I get eleven enchanted keys, I open them of course because that's the biggest. Uh, part for me where I can get my um, free gems, free extra gems from. Because you can see, you can see my um, videos in a, in every uh, like video you see, my gem count goes up and up. That's because I don't. Uh, I'm saving up. I, I don't open chess on this on, on neither of my accounts. I, I think I do it on some of my alts, you know. But that's just because sometimes I want to try something out. And with this account, you know, I just want it to become better. That's why I'm already saving up for a new run. But that that Gree is fucking up like this, like that they that you can even get banned for opening chests now, like it, it's completely random of course, but it does fuck up sometimes. So they have to get get this sorted out as quickly as possible before more people um are like a victim of this. But now you are asking me how do I get my account back if I am banned? Very good question. If you are banned because of hacking. Fuck off, please. <laughs> but if you are banned because of opening chests, the, the, the best thing and the only thing you can do is just email Grease saying that you got banned for absolutely nothing at all, you know? And then they will uh, reply back to you saying, hey, we need your friend code, gem receipts, and everything. And then if, if you have all the things like that you did, you, you can, like, if you have the gem recipes and or the receipts, uh, I'm sorry. And uh, or the receipts, my bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And uh, your friend code, if you have that all, then of course you're getting your account back. But this shouldn't have happened in the first place. Like I, I, I still can't wrap my finger around it on how this can even happen to such a big game. I mean, I know that Gree isn't really the best at making a game worth it. You know, I mean, four years ago maybe they were, but since then they have just been milking this game. And you, you need to be honest, they have been doing this for quite a long time, you know, I think that the past two years, ever since the Shadow Forge came out, they have just been milking this shit, you know, with the pets and the jewelry and the sets and things like that, you know, and I just want something new. What is the last thing that we got that was brand new? I think it was pets. When was that? About a year ago or something, and now they are still adding new pets. It's nice, but they are recycling the abilities as well, and I'm completely getting off topic here. But I know that most of you guys will actually agree with most of what I say, because it is true. Gree is milking this game at its finest. And even with that new team, you know, with, with a new team on it, with ca carrots or something, <laughs> however she, or he or she was called, like, they're just milking this. It's, that, that's about all they're doing. And you know, I, I have to be fair with you. The only reason I am still playing and I'm still making videos about this is mainly because I still have fun with my guild and my branch. That that's all that I have. That, that if if it wasn't for that, you know, if I was in another guild and it was high command left and not doing YouTube videos, I would have gone retired a long time ago. Because when I see a game going down like this, you know, <laughs> what what am I supposed to say about this? Even like they're just milking. That, that that's that's the main reason that I don't like this game anymore. They are not adding new stuff, you know. I uh, I've been with Clash of Clans for about uh, well, two weeks again, and Clash Royale for about a year now even. And Clash Royale, I see getting new content getting added. Clash of Clans, big update just now, and Clash of Clans is about the same age as Knights of the Dragons is. And you see that Clash of Clans, uh, after five six years, is still thriving. And Knights of Dragons, after five years, is going the exact opposite. Well, they could have actually done the same thing as Supercell did. Make this game worth it again. 
Now, the amount of downloads that they had doesn't say jack shit about the amount of people that are loyal to this game. Because you see, like, everything is just going down. I mean, the top runs are going up in terms of getting more expensive, because there's going to be a lot more competition in terms of people willing to go top one. But that's about it. That, that's what they rely on the most. If you want to have a good community base and new people that actually say, like, hey, I want to keep playing this game, then you should add new content every once in a while. Now, I'm not really getting um, at, like, new tiers again, but just add some brand new stuff, you know? And with that, I mean, things for girls, new things for Hiroma. Hiroma has been revamped uh, already, but the happy boss, why? The, the only thing it's good for, like, maybe some gems for the free-to-play people and some champion chests, maybe, 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 but, like, we already have epic pets. Why are you still giving away legendary pets? And then for the leaderboard things, it's not decent anymore. No, nothing like the, the arena. Of course, it's nice that they give Shadow Forge materials in the milestones. You know, you can clearly see that here they give those boreal orbs and those worm fire rubies. But that's all they do. You know, I where? How do the only reason um, that I can get a Shadow for, or the only thing that I can get a Shadow Forge from from season one? is, like, as a free-to-play player, of course, with no gem spanned, is this thing right here. This thing also features dragon coins. And that's honestly the best thing that I have ever seen, because the, the, this this chest, I, I love it. I just love it. it. It was the skeleton chest before, and now it's called the boss armor chest. Don't know why they called it the boss armor chest, but like, that's for another uh, story right here. But also this thing. They just keep recycling the old epic bosses, and hopefully they are getting they, they, they are getting out of epic bosses soon. You know that they are like that there are not more not many more epic bosses that they can choose from, I believe. But because not a lot of epic bosses have actually been epic instead of legendary. You know, if they were recycling the old legendary epic bosses, they would have a lot more. But this thing, you know, Queen Anne, I've already beat her. Why do I have to be there again, you know? <laughs> I want to beat new epic bosses to the shit. And th this is why Natural Dragons went down in in an instance. Because they started recycling things. Now, with, with those remakes, they at least tried to do something different. But look at their rogue mode. Just take a look. Crown Plate Heroic. Or whatever it's called. What, what, what's it, what is it called? Crown plate heroic is it called? Yeah, heroic crown plate. All that it has is better stats. It's the exact same armor, and guess what? On top of all of that, it can be fused. That's oh Jesus Christ! I'm already getting triggered just by reading this. And this thing looks like royal mouse garb. It also has the same elements, just a fuck ton of better stats. That's it. That's fucking it. And. I don't even know what to say anymore. What I want right now is just a little break from this game and just have fun with my own family instead of listening to the alliances every damn time because I am honestly getting tired of all of this shit, you know? I'm, I'm just getting tired of alliances doing these type of stuff, you know? And trying to involve everybody when it's not even going to work. You know, the, the gem strike as much as you would like to um, let it work, it doesn't. If you think that Grey will listen to you just because of not buying gems, don't even think about it. They have, you have, people have done this before, and l l like I have been with this game for four years. I have seen it all. I have been with uh, just two alliances, but I have seen all alliances go up and down every damn time. I have seen this game going up and down every damn time. I have seen everything in the four years that I've played this game and honestly nothing is surprising me anymore and like I don't even know what to say anymore I'm I, I just want a little break but yeah of course there's a war going to be on this weekend so I need to the, the only thing that's really um, still uh, letting me uh, have fun like I said is my family and the runs that they do or that we do because if we, if we don't do runs, then what is the point of playing this game anymore? Like, the only thing that's even still making this game work is the alliances itself, let's be honest here. And that's about it. But guys, 
let me know your um, opinion about this greed stuff again. You know, I, like I said, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of all of this shit. There's too much going on as of lately. I need, I need, I just need to lay my finger on it and see whatever um, I'm going to do. But I'm, I'm, of course, I'm not going to quit Night's Dragons. But I'm just, just tired of all this damn bullshit. I don't know. I don't even know what to do anymore. I, I just don't know. You know, there's no new content. It's not providing me with any videos. I have to come up with my own fucking series to do. Maybe like, maybe try to get an extra episode of Night's Dragons out. That's about all. I, I'm. I'm just tired. Sorry guys, but leave a like if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not crying, I'm not depressed, I'm just, like, tired. And I hope to see you all again next time.